What is going on you lots? Midi here. Out of all the videos I've done so far, the only one I've not done is the best family build so far. Where I go over each family member, I show you their best meta perks that I personally like using. I can imagine that other people are going to have different play styles. These are just the ones that I would personally use if I'm coming up against more sort of skilled players. You know, the perks have got to be a little bit more meta. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through each family member. I'm going to show you the build and I'm going to show you the gameplay. And it's going to be a pretty long video. So sit back, relax, don't worry. We're going to go through the builds one by one. Starting off, we're going to be talking about Leatherface. The problem with Leatherface is that you can only go like one way with him. You go Scout and then there's only a limited amount of perks that you can really use. You know, you can't just use Scout and then use Rubber Boots or something like that. And the same thing with Big Swing. So I'm just going for the Vile perk. You get 20% extra damage after your first kill. Then we go for Hysterical Strength. Let's say that you can't get enough blood at the start of the game or you don't get a kill. Then you've got Hysterical Strength as a nice little backup. So when you're below 15% stamina, you deal 20% more damage. And of course it pairs up with Scout. For his abilities, we go for the Reduced Chainsaw Overheat and then we go for Stalling Resistance. Now a few of you have commented and said like, oh, how comes your Chainsaw don't stall? If you ain't got this on, then you're probably going to stall after your first big swing so it's pretty mandatory you have it on then lastly instant activation nothing else beats it then we've got 50 points into the savagery we've got 32 into the blood harvesting endurance we keep as low as possible so obviously we get the damage bonus with hysterical strength and the skill tree to unlock all of this you go on the right side to get scout and this is what's really annoying as well the vile perk and hysterical strength right at the top are both random perks so you have to i was sitting here for like 12 times trying to re-roll for both of these it's annoying but yeah they're both random oh let's try it off with Leatherface, our first game let's do it all right, pretty much all level 99s. So let's see how it goes. All right, let's go. Already woke Grandad up. Minute one, you know it. Right, let's go. Wow, let's roll. So I like using the scout though. As you can see, he's just wasting time with me. He ain't doing nothing else, but wasting time. That's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta watch out for, man. With high level players, that's literally what all they're gonna do. Try and get all the doors open and waste your time. this what happened there the door didn't even break it's half broke <laughs> that should have hit no more wasting time with him now Right, Sterical Shrimp's going to be activated here. Nice. It's beautiful. That's Hysterical Strength in a nutshell right there. That's what you got to do sometimes. You just have to be a little bit wary with these guys. Like, they're going to be wasting... Man, are you serious? <laughs> this geezer, mate. What? Let's go. They definitely picked up Fuse there, I think. Oh, what a shame, man. What a shame there. That's annoying. Alright. I have not opened the fuse yet. Just have to obviously watch out for it. Let's destroy the doors. He's probably going to be doing fuse. I mean, unless they've opened... Oh. Perfectly went into trap there. Dead. Let's go. Good trap, bitch. Really good trap. He's going to be doing a little bit of tea bags for the level 99s. Let's go. Just lock that back up. Something's definitely going to be doing basement. Oh, fuse. Yeah. Might be able to catch him out here. Okay, maybe not. Probably check door. Yep, good. We're good. Right, let's go. Now, I'm pretty sure that was Sunny because what he would have done, he would have latched the door and That's then he would have gone. Oh, okay. I need a lockpick. He's obviously trying to get a lockpick somewhere, I think. 
Actually, all these damn doors as well. So we know he's upstairs somewhere. I've got to come just keep my eyes on this. Right, leave them two up there. I'm going to guard doors again. Good. It's only Sunny and Leland left. Uh, definitely going to be a fuse box, I think. I'm keeping my eyes on it. Blundered. Oh, and stop. What? See, that's what I get about this sometimes. Wait. Make sure he can't backstab me. I see. He'll back up. Oh, this guy is so annoying. Nice. It's obviously got stunt double on, but let's see if we can catch him. Oh, mate. I mean, latching the doors ain't a bad idea, but for something like this, look. Do you know what I mean? Like, I need to get there and hurry up. Let's go to the basement, I think. Let's see if we can catch him. Oh, imagine it. Instant DC. Instantly. <laughs> oh, imagine it, mate. That's what I get comments about. Oh, you you only play bad players. You're level fucking 99, sweaty bastard. You still take them out. They make mistakes, mate. No one's perfect. All right, he just got in that. Perfect. Going to feed Grandad here. Just be... All right, he's feeding him. I mean, Leland's trapped here, bro. He ain't getting out. That Sunny was good, though. But that's what I'm saying, man. Sooner or later, they make mistakes. And if you keep making blunders like this and acting like you're new, they'll go, oh, okay. I can get away with a little bit more. And then they slip up. Slippity slip. Let's level him up again. I don't really need the damage buff when there's only one player left. There we go. Then nobody escapes hell. So it's going to be even harder for him. Try and pick lock a door. It's a Leland. Like Leland's aren't pick locking doors anytime soon. Upstairs. Upstairs. Say no more. Fuse boxing. Right, people saying open it. Stairs somewhere. Right there. Check the last room. Did block off the cool space as well. That's probably one of the most important cool spaces to break, by the way. Bear that in mind. This is in here. Hmm, okay. Not sure, really. We've got exterior alarms. Nobody escapes hell. Like, any door that gets opened here, we're going to see it. He's going to bleed out sooner or later, so he can't really do much. Ooh, no, he went into a trap. Must have jumped out window. And he bled out. Ah, oh, what a shame. No four kill game, but I don't know, I'll take it. Well, they're the perks in full action there, and they were all high level. But then again, it was family house, so we had a bit of an advantage. Would have been way harder any other map there. I'll take it though. GG. All right, now to build on a cook, we're going to be using security pins. I feel like this is one of the best unique abilities that you can get on a family member. The added locks are 50% harder to unlock for the victims. Of course, I know that Connie can just smash through one of these locks, but the second lock should also have security pins on it as well. And imagine if you get the Connie out of the game, this is going to make it even harder for anyone to smash through any of the locks, especially on Family House. I mean, considering apart from Connie and Julie, pretty much everyone else is going to have trouble going through the locks unless they've maxed out the proficiency. You know, you never know. Second perk is going to be Scout, just so we can actually upkeep on some of the survivors actually get hits off on them and then we're also able to guard areas a lot more frequently I just feel like it's a really good perk on the cook now the third perk is going to be serrated this is personally what i like using i like being able to do a little bit more damage any of the victims that i actually catch near me of course if you really wanted to maybe you could go down the route of universal donor on the cook but when you go up against higher skill players i mean you only need that hundred blood you want to get your first grandpa ability off you know exterior alarms and it's normally good to go but you know it is a play style if you want to change it then i've got 46 points into my savagery we've got 25 baseline on the blood harvesting which is really good and then endurance we get it to 26 and this is the skill tree that i use to unlock everything right here there are a few random perks in here so just watch out for that let's jump into a game with a cook let's get to cooking boys family house look come on cook and family house they go hand in hand ain't messing about that 
There we go. And we got exterior alarms. First perk. Let's go. Oh, a few spooks ain't spawned up here. Looks like my luck has run out, lads. Damn kids. There we go. Now, I think the only thing I'll change with this cook build, I don't know what to replace with serrated. That's the only thing. Right, if I up Grandad straight away, you need to put locks down ASAP. I don't really know what we're going to be doing much here. I think I just like serrated for that, you know, little extra bit of damage. It's good for the weaker characters like Connie and Sunny, maybe. Catch them out a little bit. A few hits. You know, they normally bleed that. Oh, so, oh, speaking of Sunny. There you go. Ooh, done. Straight window, mate. You knew it. Ass. Man, I've not even put down my last lock yet. Like, chill, man. He's already off. Oh, no, nah, we need to lock this. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Should have seen it coming. Should Who else but Leland? And Connie's upstairs. Oh my god, man. I don't know. I'm going to lock this down. I'm just going to hope that Leatherface can... Wait. Nah, let's do it. Let's keep it on lockdown. Look, Leatherface has got to chase both of them out. I'm so far behind here. It's ridiculous. I'm going to go after Connie instead. Listen, when in doubt... Oh my god. Take it down. Ah, that's it. Sounds high, no? Shut up. Nice. See, even he knows, mate. Have that, you zesty jalapeno. Right. I would have turned Jen off, mate. Oh. This is pretty much GG, isn't it, boys? I'm sorry. I tried my best. Wait, is it only Sonny? Mate. Sonny's pretty much dead. I'm going to wait here. Keep guard in case anyone else comes out. Wait, I see... Wait, who's that? On, That's all locked up. We're good. I mean, they might jump out a window if they know that the generator's been turned off like that. Ooh. A few pings on Julie. I'm pretty sure that is, yeah. Okay. Come on, Julie. Come right here. Thank you very much. Now we wait. Wait for her to get in that. Look. Like, now. you got to perfectly tummy. Come on. You've got to be low HP, mate. You've got to be. Maybe she's already used the belief. Wait. Mate, don't you ever try Duke. The crew. Got that one. That last one took a while. Well, it's what I mean, mate. They've just got the same full pan, haven't they? Look, all the doors are locked. Window. You know what I mean? They ain't getting through them locks. Now I know. I didn't put my last lock down here. It's painful. Leland, where are you, bro? We know Leland is memeing around here. He's got to be out back gate, isn't he? Mate, how have we turned this game around? Like, we were getting absolutely wrecked. Mate, we're doing work. Question is, I don't know where Leland's gone. Listen, sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles with this game. You just don't know, do you? Let's lock this back up. Let's finally put our last lock down. Here we go. I mean, I like this damage, mate. Wait, ooh, ooh. Right, he's gone straight back down the basement. Let's go. Now, tell me a worse combo. Being the last survivor and getting pinged 80 times by Cook. There is none. Oh, my God. Go on, you bet. Dead. That's why you got to heal up in basement, mate. Oh, my God. Mate, that was crazy. Like, I wonder what Leland was doing. They turned the generator off. And Leland, was he still in that area? I don't know. Maybe she went straight back down the basement early. I don't know. Panicked. Well, that was a pretty good comeback, I guess. With a cook. Listen, I love the build, mate. Ain't nothing going to be changing from that build, I tell you. The classic, I call it. And we had a sissy. Oh, okay. Uh, do you know what? I completely forgot. I thought we had a uh, hitch. Never mind. GG, though. All right, and then we've got the Hitchhiker, one of my favorite family members to play in this entire game. Gonna go for his unique perk, Venom, so victims caught in your traps take one HP of damage up to 30 seconds, which is huge. Considering most survivors have like 80, 90, 100 baseline health, being able to take out almost one third of their health just with this perk alone is huge. For the second perk, I use Feral. Maybe you could use the Violent perk so you get that 20% increase of damage, but I'm curious if this perk works with his traps. If they do, then this is the perk to use. If not, and you want to just get the hits off, then it's definitely going to be Feral because you can't max out the savagery here. And the last perk that I like using in solo queue mainly is going to be Dinner Bell, so victims caught in your traps will be highlighted for your entire team, and your maximum stamina 
stamina is increased by 60 points for 15 seconds. You're gonna get a bit more stamina. It's gonna help you get closer. If you don't wanna use Dinner Bell, then you switch this over for Scout. So your movement speed is gonna be even higher. Your damage is gonna be reduced by 10%. So you've got a choice there. You either go for that Dinner Bell, alert all of your family members. Maybe Leatherface is gonna see this. He's gonna come over, you know, one shot him. But I guess if you're on really good comms with players, then maybe you could go for Scout instead. But either one that you take is up to you. Personally for me, Dinner Bell. For the ability, I like to do the increased escape difficulty. So 19% harder for them to escape from. Then I do the increase of damage. So when they get snared, the damage is increased by 33%. And then the last one, any victim caught in a trap continues to take damage over a short period of time. For the Grandad perk, I've got Nobody Escapes Hell on. You guys know it's really good. 38 points into the Savagery, 25 into the Blood Harvesting, and then 35 for the Endurance. And this is the skill tree where I unlocked everything. You're going to get Venom right here in the top left corner. Pretty much the Hitchhiker build. Let's go. All right, let's do it, lads. Exterior alarms and Nobody Escapes Hell on. That's what I'm talking about. We've got Gas Station as well. One of my favorite maps in the game. Family House is obviously OP. It's easy to win on. But hear me out. Gas station, I just think the most fun. That's what it's all about, the game. Having a bit of fun. Yeah, maybe people are taking gaming too serious nowadays. You forgot about the fun! Sorry. Went a little bit over the top there, I understand. Right. My first random trap of the day is going to be right in the middle. Wait, center this bad boy, wait. Wait. Oh, mate, like, what's going on? The little cubes are in my way. Oh, there we go. Maybe I forgot where it was. But seeing as Granddad spawned in a house, I might try and trap all of this out. Actually, mm, I can either do that or I could go for more of a tactical trap of if they go through any of the gaps and they're looping, you know, they get stuck. Let's see. There we go. I'm going to put this one here. Oh, actually. Yes, I am. Basically block off two of the gaps after open a crawl space here, which if they do, I might be a bit more wary of it. Oh, there we go, and I'm doing this. Get. There we go. That's a free kill there if you can actually get to her. Nope, guess not. Try and cut her off if we can. Dead. So I mean, the savagery for that extra damage, and then obviously the traps damage as well. Weaker characters like Connie, Julie, Sonny, dead. That. That's one. Guess it was worth doing that. I mean, I'm hoping that she didn't really touch any of the locks here. Done. If I can now, I need to try and feed Grandad quickly. Okay, cook's lock in. That's good. Double check, I think my fuse box is there. Oh, they got rid of the trap though. Wait. The fact that they were wary enough to get rid of that trap is pretty impressive. Question is, do I want to reset that or move it? Hmm. So Anna is in here somewhere. The reset. So who else has got bomb squad? Oh god, I need to remember off the top of my head. Gotta lock this. Latch it up just in case they get stuck here. Right. And the valve spawned here as well, which is quite good. He's double checking them. Cooks over there. Kind of perfect, really. Got everything on lockdown. I'm going to double check the fuse box. I've had a few games where they rush fuse box. So I've been a bit more wary of it. Because yeah, I latched the door now. They have to go the long way around. Oh, there we go. I'm not going to walk into trap, though. She's got open call space. Hey. Never mind. Take that back. Try and chase her. Burn out some choose flights here. She might use gap. Nope. Get a hit off. Oh, see what I'm saying about Feral, though, and the Savagery. So I try to keep it high. Goodbye, Anna. Now we get exterior alarms. That's what I'm talking about. Bit damage. Oh. He just knocked Cook out. Bro, where's he going? Did he just jump down well? That was really quick. All right, we've only got Leland and Julie left now. I'm going to double check all my traps again. It seemed like only... Anna was the one messing about with fuse box. I don't know at this point. We've got exterior alarms as well now. I'm going to feed him again. I feel like they're going to get on. Oh, there we go. Hello. Hello, Lena. Going to go for slam. Watch out. 
Oh, didn't go for gap though. Obviously, his ability is going to be on cooldown here. Has he got rid of the cool spaces? No, he hasn't. Forget about it. Leave him down here for now. Let him stay down here if they want to waste time. That's fine. Close it up. Because exterior alarms, you want to keep all the doors closed like that. Alright, right, let's feed him. Alright, there we go. Another door open on that side. I don't think I want to reposition my traps here, just in case they go for a little bit of loot. Alright. Pretty sure this was the door right here. Yep. Straight back down the basement. Oh, he is. Just... I mean, I was waiting for my stomach. Go. I can't do anything I'm trying to fight! You know what I mean? What do you want me to do? I can't do nothing. There's two of you. Ooh. Say no more. I'm pretty sure she landed right here. She just got up. Oh, my stamina. No! That was so bad. I'm sorry. Terrible. Listen, they're both in basement, so this should be fine. Leland's probably escaped. He might do Valve, actually. That's why he's got the bow knife. So I'm thinking a little bit ahead here. Wait. I don't think I'm going to catch her here. She's going to keep messing about with this. And he's used that. Okay. I ain't going to catch him. I'm going to reposition the traps here. Judy might have bombed squad, I think. But it's fine. I mean, we've got exterior, so we just got to watch Fuse and Valve, I think. Let the stamina go back up. Oh, he got hit there. I just see that. Wait for the stam. I don't think so, Leland. You're right. You're right, mate. You tried, though, didn't you? Oh, we gotta watch that. We gotta watch that. Dead. And let's get the trap here. I mean, maybe if she has bomb squad, she can get past all this. Let's see. I've got three traps here, so. Wait. Lock that down. Sweet. I mean, pretty much at this point, we've got the whole map on lockdown, really. Right, found her. So good. Yep. I can see you, bro. Ah, fool! Ooh, have a bit of that. Gave up. Don't blame them. They were AFK in for a long time. Have that. Yeah, let's go. See, now you imagine if we didn't catch Connie out that early, that game would have been a lot more painful. Yeah, done good though. I'll take that. Try right, exterior alarms is king, boys. Oh, GG's. All right, now on to Johnny. I mean, pretty controversial pick, ain't it? There's a lot of games where you're going up against sweaty players. A lot of people don't want Johnny. They want to cook instead. Maybe they want to hitchhiker. You never know how the games are going to go. But this is my build that I like using on him. We've got scouts who are able to get close to the survivors. And you guys know, when you get caught near Johnny, dead meat. You want to make sure you can upkeep the speed on him. Second perk's going to be feral, so you're increasing your savagery by seven, of course. You get extra points to put elsewhere, which I put into my endurance. So it's almost maxed out. And then we've got easily tuckered out, one of the best perks to use on him. Your attack use 50% less stamina. But your stamina regeneration is going to be a lot slower. So you just got to bear that in mind. For the granddad perk, I don't really use one. If someone's using exterior alarms or maybe nobody escapes hell, I don't want one of these bad perks to sort of get in the way of it. Stamina drained while sprinting is decreased by 20%. In lobbies where players are normally high level, you're barely going to have any time to level up granddad anyway. So I just completely leave it off. And then for his ability, I go for the decreased tracking cost, the increase of clue range, and then footprint freshness. Of course, you could take the increased trail range. I like using the footprint freshness, especially when you're on nighttime. Then we've got 50 points into the savagery. We've got 16 into the blood harvesting. A little bit low, I know. And then we've got 43 into the endurance. Field tree that I used to unlock everything. Going to get all on the left side here. It's pretty much the build. Let's jump into a game with Johnny. All right, let's do it. Johnny boy, wait, hold on. Look, I've missed this. Oh, shit, man. You, you can't contain that, can you? You just can't. Damn it, Johnny. Get your head straight. All right. Come on now. So we've got a cook on a gas station. It's kind of all you need. Look at him. Look at him go. Jesus, that's speed. Sweet, we come up straight away. Let's see how quick we can actually get down here. Did you see that? I just see her open the door, did the animation there. Let's see if we can get her. Wait for my stand to go back up here. I don't think she came upstairs that quick. Yeah, no way. There's no way she slipped past that fast. Let's see her. There we go. Barge the door for him. 
Perfect. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot. I don't think she'll bleed out, though. Right. Oh, she might get this. Right. Oh, that hit as well. Uh, I thought you destroyed more in the basement. That's a shame. I feel like if you're playing Leatherface and you see that there's a Johnny on the team, do you know what I mean? Like, maybe destroy some bolt spots. I know I'm guilty of it, but that's normally when it's a hitch or a cook. I'm sort of thinking, okay, none of them's coming to basement. Oh, no. This is not good. Better wait a minute. It's not. I think. All right, we're good. He's not touching car. I see you, Leland. Don't want to waste too much time with him here. I'm not going to be able to catch him because there are a few gaps. Oh, he's going to go straight to basement. Okay. Ah, oh, lucky. Right. Let me double check the lock on this. Did he unlock it? No, he didn't. All right. Yeah, they're already through battery gate. Yeah, they're through battery gate, but they ain't finished it. Ooh, we just got Anna there. That's perfect. Let's pretend like we can't see her. Let's go. Oh, no, it's Connie. Wait. Oh, she's not going in gap. Wait. <laughs> yep, get duped, mate. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. She's gonna go to basement, man. She's. No! <laughs> Wasting that stand, but it's fine. She ain't bleeding out, though. Gotta get rid of the Connie if we can. Oh, she's gone to basement. She might bleed out by falling. Oh, she's fucked, alright. Get her out of the game at least. Unless she can recover in time. No, you can't. Thank you. I'll take that. As long as she's out of the game. And someone else just landed to the north of me here. Hoo -hoo. You boys are all falling down today, ain't you? You've got to have a cook on gas station, man. Right. Left face actually destroyed a few things in here. Don't want to spend too long in basement, no. I can see the bleeding, wait. Don't you worry about that. Not enough time. Just sees little. Wait. It's a little bit glitchy sometimes. You have to like keep the sprint on and then attack. Wait. Oh, I thought that was gonna hit. Looked like it almost connected. Where's Cook? Okay, Cook's over there. He's going back to basement. I feel like these two can guard pretty well. So if I can just rotate basement. Julie, okay. Wait for it. Let him mess around with the door. Just waiting for my stand to go back up here. Go. Oh, that definitely didn't hit. It made the noise. Oh, I thought I was out of the way of that. So this is the problem. I can't like spend too long messing about with her. I don't know. She might have activated the ability here. Wait, no, be good. Oh, it always does this. It like connects and then does that little mini stun. I can't just keep connecting, mate. Oh, you fought, mate. You fought. There we go. All of these guys are over level 80, by the way. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. I'm just hoping them two up there are guarding well enough. Right, we've only got Anna and Leland left. Both of them are not really going to get through the lockpicks as well. All right, there we go. Wait for it. Oh, she's got the ability. It's fine. Ooh, she's won it anyway. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, that's beautiful, man. I feel like they had a really big opportunity at the start of this game. So Leland got all the way up to battery and I guess just kind of got denied. All right. Doing really good though. But this is what I'm saying. Like Bubba's just been up here guarding the areas. They've got nowhere to go. It's a valve or fuse game. 100%. All right, I have no idea where he's gone. I know what some of you are saying. Feed Grandad. Feed him. I'll finally feed him. Finally feed him. Hey, this you bold man. Well, maybe I'm just a little bit tired from playing all these games in a row. I don't know. Eat it, old man. Eat it. Wait. Are you sure that weren't cooked? That just did go. Oh. Mate, look at the time frame, though. Like, I was looking at that basement exit. This has got... Wait. No! No! <laughs> Wait, is the door locked? Where'd he go? Oh, he's rad, mate. He's out. He's actually out. 
I can't believe that. I took my eyes off the fuse box for one second. Pretty sure he's out. Oh, he ain't. What? He's going to have charge ability as well. I've got to be ready for this. Yes! It actually worked! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, if I didn't do that double swing, because he had charge. I'm sure he had his ability. I couldn't risk it. I had to go for him. I right, mate, that's crazy. Well, oh, almost. Wait, is that four kill game by me? I lost count. Four kills. Let's go, baby. Four kill game. And then lastly, we're going to be using Sissy. Now, I want to tell you guys just outright, this is a build that I personally like using. It adapts to my playstyle. There's going to be a few of you that play Sissy completely differently to me. Some of you are going to pick Scout with her, which I think is honestly really good. So you could go for that more endurance sort of perk. You get easily tuckered out. You get Scout with her. Now, the way that I normally play is I just max out the Savagery. She's got really low Savagery, so I try to dish out as much damage as I can when I actually catch the survivors. Then when they vault over something and they go through a gap, I then poison them, and then hopefully the poison slowly bleeds away their HP, you know, and normally gets me to kill. So for this i use her unique perk spore loser so losing a close encounter automatically drops an emergency poison cloud even if you're out of powder with a lot of good survivors they normally always carry a bone knife with them you're going to drop the poison that's going to add up to the bleeding damage then we've got serrated so when we actually hit them we're going to get that extra bit of damage on them for the abilities i feel like this is the best one you're going to get the increased cloud duration just in case you want to block the objectives then we're going to increase the poison time on them so this goes up to 13.5 seconds this is crucial because this goes on with our next ability toxic cloud so the poison seeps into the victim's wounds causing them to lose health for a short period of time when you're going against survivors you just keep going through gaps slowly you can just drain their hp down and it's just really good and of course with this build you could go for special blend so walking through sissy's poison clouds boosts your stamina regeneration and also gives one of your next attacks the poison effect it could be a route to go down instead of serrated if you wanted to use that instead her grandpa abilities are a little bit lame if someone's using exterior alarms i mean i don't really put anything else on but maybe you could use brute strength for this or you use suffocating grip closing counter mini games is easier by 20 percent this is the build that i use on sissy because you're going to go all up to the top here you're gonna get spore loser you're gonna get all of the rest of the perks there and we're gonna do it we're gonna do our last game of sissy let's see how far we get let's go all right let's do it guys sissy slaughterhouse map i mean yeah definitely gonna be collecting blood this time we got nobody escapes hell and exterior alarms on what do you guys think do you think it's better just to have exterior alarms and nothing else or do you, do you like rolling with both of them i feel like if you're playing really high level players just use exterior alarms that's it and then, uh, if there's the average players, then maybe you could use both of them. I don't know, really. I don't know. I mean, I guess you could with Sissy, because you and Cook can both just collect blood really easily. But uh, who knows, man. Almost full blood already. Beautiful. Imagine we could time this with Cook, just both of us feeding Grandad at the same time. Yeah, I'd love to see it in solo queue. Is it possible? I don't know. I don't know. Now, I've been having a few problems with my controller. It's not even a month's old and the RB button don't work. You know the ability button? Yeah. Don't work after the time. I'm just... I don't know who to blame. I don't know if it's Bill Gates. I don't know who runs for Microsoft. But someone's making these controllers. And they ain't good. We need to, we need to talk about it with someone. I don't know who. Oh, no! Maybe him. There we go. Wake up, Baldy. Fix my damn controller. It ain't working. Have a bit of that. Right, there we go. Nobody escapes hell straight away. Now, they are taking the time in basement. I'm going to go down really quickly. Do wish it was exterior alarms first. That is the first granddad poke you want to activate. But I mean, whatever. I mean, by this time, they probably already unlocked the door here. Oh. Perfect. Now, Spore Loser's going to activate here. I don't know if I can win this fight against Julie. Wait. She has got low strength. Never. There we go. Hey, how you can't really like rotate your camera and look. Well, she's already poisoned here. Perfect. Curious if Spore Loser would ever be effective again. Julie's not really a high value target here. Wait. There we go. Let's take that. Wait. I'm getting a hit off at a time here. I don't mind. Might have been better actually to get the. Uh, wait. You know what I mean? You want to play about? We'll, we'll play about. See what I mean? Like, what are you trying to do? Like, go into the gap and come out of the gap? And it works for every other killer but Sissy. You know what I mean? Sissy takes full advantage of that. There we go. Beautiful. And because he got absolutely clapped there, we can just feed Grandad again and get exterior alarms. Actually defend a little bit more here. Where's Valve? Okay, Valve's not spawned there. 
Hoping it's not on Red Room side. There we go. Lock that back up. Can't imagine they're going to be standing in the basement anymore. A few of them must have came up by now. Double check door here. Yeah, still locked. Okay. Just double checking the bushes, really. I'm going to check the side door up here. Ooh, okay. Say no more, I guess. Barely got any stamina, though. Same problem. Can't even attack her. Oh my god, that was embarrassing. <laughs> That's so bad! What we're doing? Oh my god. Whatever. She picked up Valve. I've got to kind of be on Anna's case here. This is another good thing with Sissy. Like, you can put Chase game in the basement with certain people, especially Anna. Probably thinks I still can't see her, I don't know. Yeah. I'm trying to get heal in. Just. Nice. Spore loser again. So what I mean? You get value out of this perk, man. You do. Oh, she can't even walk. Where are you going, mate? Hoo-hoo-hoo. Messing with new controllers. There you go, know I feel. I've got that by default with this broken controller. Oh, no chance. Higher savagery. Feral. Dead. I mean, I don't know when she would have activated her ability, though. Hmm, whatever. I'll take it. So, I mean, no, you do get value out of Spore Loser. You do. That's why I love using it. It's just a problem that with certain perks, ah, I don't know, the perk system's a bit... You can only sort of go, like, one way with it, you know? You get Spore Loser and there's only a certain amount of perks you put in. Hello, Cook. Well, I mean, they've got exterior alarms on, so you should see. I'll feed him again, though, just in case. I know some of you guys are going to moan otherwise. People got to realise, like, when you start playing this game more and more and you start coming up against players, or, oh, let's say, more advanced players... Right, uh, yeah, Cook's got all this on lockdown, so they're definitely not this side. Is that you're never going to have time to feed Grandad. And when you do, you give them just that few extra seconds of opportunity. Like Connie, max proficiency. Connie will bust through so many locks in this game. I think he's got free kill, isn't it? I mean, these guys are pretty, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, he actually got her. Wow, okay. Cook's on last one here. Curious if Leland's going to go for the stab on Grandad. No, he ain't. He's going upstairs. Alright, that's perfect. Let him waste his time. Trapped either way, mate. You are trapped either way. No, you don't. Yep. Nice. We're going to get... That's three spore losers. There we go. Poisoned. Trying to get Valve here. I see his game. Oh, no. He's dead. Okay. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's why I like having savagery on Sissy. When you're actually able to catch them, they're dead. But I can see why people use Scout or more sweatier players. It does make sense. It's everyone's playstyle, isn't it? I'll take that, though. Was that three kills? Lovely. Thanks for watching it all the way to the end. Listen, you support me, and it means a lot. I'm not the best. You're the best. See you later.